Hey guys, this is Simon with ToughTrader.com and Trade and Perform Coaching. Wanted to do a little review about what I think may be coming up for tomorrow, right? A lot of times, um, uh, I guess myself and others, right, what you're reviewing is what already happened the, the prior day, right? And occasionally we get setups where we can actually t get a pretty good idea that we potentially have a set, um, we, we have the circumstances or the, the, the basic materials that we need to uh, possibly have a exceptional move either up or down and uh, this particular move is setting up uh, to push us to the upside so I wanna <clears throat> I wanna set that up for y'all and kinda give you an idea of what that looks like when we potentially have a trend day up and that's what it looks like we may be setting up for so can't be positive of that of course we still need other elements to come through for us um, and we have some things standing in our way tomorrow morning in terms of news but we we are actually in a pretty good position you know that the trend is up first of all as you can see and so let's let's just jump into it and, and we'll work from there before um, before we get going I have to throw up the uh, the quick uh, legal disclaimer so I'm gonna do that really quick and uh, let me find it here really fast there we go and it'll pop up on our screen there there we go so past performance is not indicative of future results this is for educational purposes only. I'm sharing my trade plan in hopes that it will make you a better trader. Uh, we, uh, I do do a live mentor room where I'm actually pointing out where the trade setups are throughout the day live with a high degree of accuracy. And if anyone would like to see me do that live and in real time, you're w anyone's welcome to come in. I offer a five-day trial uh, with uh, absolutely no, uh, there's no asterisks there and no commitment. Just email me uh, currently at trade and perform at gmail.com so let's get started right so what we have here this would be called a time build and if we look at the other uh, potential profile here uh, we would be looking at a volume build and if we look at that on ES which will go let's switch this over to ES.D so we can see this a little bit clearer from the time frame so one so one we're looking so when we're looking at this picture right here, right, this is a TPO. This is looking at where price is spending most of its time, right? Uh, and you can see that they're creating value areas and points of control. This is straight out of mind, mind over markets from Dalton. And so a couple of things. You can see, first of all, the value keeps shifting higher. We're not shifting lower through here. And you can see we've continuously pushed value and acceptance up. And then we've come through a consolidation here. So the first thing you'll notice here is that we keep pushing new highs and we keep pushing higher lows through here which is not bearish usually when you start seeing a bearish setup doesn't preclude us from moving lower right but when you see a bearish setup uh, you'll see that these uh, what will happen is we'll, we'll have these uh, points of control and then the closes will come underneath right uh, so we're not I don't think we're in a situation where we're going to have a hard roll to the downside if anything I think we're gonna actually end up with a trend up so if we look over here what you'll see now this is volume by price nothing to do with time it's just simply how much volume went off in each area and in this particular case both those profiles are matching up pretty closely right so why is that important I'm going to show you if you go back over here and you look when we were here see this big 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 volume build we went through two areas of volume build and basically we ended up with a about a 16 point 17 point balance area and you see how long we spent in there. Now we usually don't spend that much time. I'm going to give you a couple of examples here while keeping this short. We usually don't spend that much time uh, in one area building for a move, but when we did, we obviously got an exceptionally large move out of it. But if you go back and look in the past, you'll see that when we get three or four days of sideways movement, we end up with a gap and a trend day up, right? Again, you'll see we have one, two, three, four, five, six days of movement, and we end up with a trend day up, right? Um, again three days of consolidation we end up with a trend day down in this particular case but you can see this close came near the bottom of the range and then we gap below this particular structure here to the left and that generated a trend day down uh, so what I would expect out of this right what I would expect is that we're going to hold above this 2559 now part of the reason that's so important and I'm gonna drag this over here this is my other computer so I'm using a join me meeting so you can see this and I'm going to pull up my, let me move this over here, and then let me see where my ES profile is here really quick. 
I believe I have a 60 minute floating around here. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, we do not, but that's all right, we'll fix it. Okay, what you'll see here is if we turn this into a one hour profile, loading here really quickly. Ah, there it is. Okay, so see this volume, this profile basically covers this entire area since we've launched down at 2492 all the way up to 2454. So what you'll see in here, look how much volume we've put up at the very, very top of this profile. So just like in anything, you usually want your volume builds underneath you, right? So just like when we got into this volume build over here, right? See how we consolidated sideways through here, then we broke out, right? Consolidated again, volume above us, then we broke out. Well, guess what? So this is on a very large time frame, but you'll see for the last couple of days, we've just jammed into this 2549 and we've rejected every time. Even this morning when we tried to get above it, once we were above 2549, we rejected basically to the bottom of this balance area here. So what am I expecting for tomorrow? Well, you'll see that, see how once we squeeze above that 2549 and we just dance, 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 dance right on top of it? It's my perspective that if we don't close below 2549, that we have a very good chance of gapping up and then getting an open drive higher. Now I have an entirely different protocol for reading that in real time, but this is the first step, right? So when you're looking and trying to figure out, hey, where can we release a lot of energy? This is an energy build, what it looks like is we've, in a very tight range, we've built up a ton of volume. This is where, what you'd call relatively poorly auctioned, and that's because we expanded energy all the way through here. All this energy that built up back here, we expanded it all the way through. We didn't spend a lot of time building volume or time, and now we spent a lot of time. The, con the opposite of that, or the other side of that trade, is if we get underneath 2545, there's a lot of area to come back down and re-auction back to the downside. So the last time we had something like this, I'm going to see if I can squeeze it back to grab it here. Maybe I can't. Ah, you know what? It was right in here. Let's see if I can draw this really quick. So what you're going to see in this draw over here, so see how all this volume built through here to the left and then we got underneath it right here to the right? And see as we came up, we slowly were grinding through, push up, grind down, push up, grind down. We attempted to get above one time right here, and then we failed. We pushed back in, and we pushed back into where there was a volume build, by the way, you'll notice, right? And now we get up one more time, and we consolidate it. Just like, so if you would pretend like this is 2549, this is exactly what I want it to look like. We may even spend an entire day consolidating on the top side, but it should lead, as long as we can hold that 2549 up here, it should lead to a continuation break to the upside and the way we would know that what has failed or that's not in the mix is we trade below and hold below back below 2549 and then we have in the room we have a whole additional set of methodologies so that we can gain access to that open drive higher without holding the position overnight which we don't we're pure day traders so anyways wanted to give you a brief look at how I use the volume profile in this case from a one hour perspective both to tell that, hey, there was going to be a lot of resistance up here, and to also read, hey, we've, we've broken through the resistance, right? And if we can hold above that 2549, that gives us a great heads up for an open drive higher. This and a lot more when you have a trading edge, when you really understand volume profile and how volume and price interact with one another, gives you a true, true edge uh, in your trading setups. And so if you'd like to come and join us and see how we do that in real time, uh, you're welcome. Trade and perform at gmail.com. I'm Simon. I hope everyone killed it. Made a lot of money. Do not blow up, guys. Don't destroy your account. If you're having a bad day psychologically, emotionally, your setups aren't working, just stop. Make sure you can come back the next day. Follow your trade plan. Follow your risk plan, right? It's the most important thing to keeping you alive long term. Okay, guys. Have a good night. I will talk to you all later. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. By the way, don't forget, 9.30 a.m. We have Powell speaking. We have, if I'm pronouncing it right, Dry from the uh, uh, European uh, Central Bank is speaking. Uh, we have one other Fed member speaking at 9.30 and then 10 a.m. we have crude oil inventories. That's a lot of stuff going on all in one very small packed in area. So watch out for whipsaws during that hour uh, or algos firing off making life a little bit more difficult uh, on day traders than it already normally is. So uh, have a good night guys. I'm going to uh, get my rest too. See you later.